My name is Max Remont from Kids Fishing TV, and today I'm going to show you how to properly remove a fishing hook from your skin. If you are out there fishing a lot, you're going to have this happen to you, and in that circumstance, you're going to want to know how to properly remove it so you don't have to go to the hospital, and so you can continue to fish. So, today I'm going to show you one of the methods to remove a hook from your skin. There are many different methods, but this is probably the easiest, and this will work no matter what size the hook is. Uh, just one thing that I'm going to want to advise you about is if you get hooked somewhere, you know, the eyelid, near your eye, somewhere on your face, anywhere where you don't think is probably the best place to get hooked, I don't recommend doing it yourself because you could cause further injury, you could, you know, you could do something wrong. So if you do get hooked somewhere where you don't think it's the best to be hooked, I definitely would advise you to just go to the hospital and have a professional take care of you. So with that said, let's go to the video and, um... Let's show you. Alright, so I figured that the best way to show you how to properly remove a fishing hook would be to go ahead and hook myself and then show you the process of getting it out. So what, I, what I've done is I've got a sharpie and I just drew a little dot on my arm uh, just to make sure that I wasn't going into a vein or anything. And I'm going to put this little offset worm hook in my arm and I go ahead to show you how to get it out. So I'm a little bit nervous about this. This is going to hurt a little bit, but... I'm, uh, I'm imagining that it's, you know, like getting a shot. Alright, so it is official. The hook is in past the barb right there. And uh, I'll tell you, it does hurt pretty bad. So now what we're going to have to do, now that we're hooked, say for instance we're out there and, you know, you set the hook, the hook comes flying back and you get hooked and the arm and the leg, no matter where it is, this is what you're going to have to do. The hook's in past the barb, so the only way to get the hook out is to somehow get the barb off because if you don't do that, it's going to be really difficult because essentially what a barb is, it's a little grip. So right now, this hook is gripped into my flesh, and so if I pulled on that, all it's going to do is kind of pull my skin up with it, and it's not going to come out. There are some methods that you could just pull it out really fast and, you know, the barb will just kind of rip through but if you're using a bigger hook this is not really a big hook but if you have a big hook with a big barb the only way to get that hook out is to pull it through the other side and cut that barb off or smush it down so that's what I'm gonna demonstrate today I'm gonna have to get my hook and I'm gonna have to pull it through this point right here just kind of pull it up and then I'll be able to cut the barb off and I'll be able to pull it and slide it through again so I'm gonna go ahead and do that I'll tell you, this is a painful experience, so this better uh, help you folks when you're out there on the water. I finally got the hook through the other side, and I will tell you, man, it hurt. <laughs> but um, I managed to get it through, and right now I have my handy dandy pair of pliers. Now these are something that most people should have when you're out there fishing, and a lot of them should have these little wire cutters, if you will, uh, on them. And so you have two options, you can either cut the entire top of the hook off all the way up here to remove the barb or you can just simply smush that barb down but what I'm gonna do is just smush it and as you can see it, it is bleeding a little bit the barb is just the the thing that makes this whole thing a mess if there was no barb and you and you were using a barbless hook you'd be able to just slide it out but um you'll, you'll lose more fish as well so we got this barb down it looks like and now I'm going to show you the graphic part. Ah, that stung. Hooks out. And we are now ready to put a band-aid on it and fish. I was using a sterilized hook. I made sure to um, rub it down with alcohol and stuff so that it is clean. And, you know, even still, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go downstairs and apply some... Uh, antibacterial agents on the wound just to make sure that it is clean but you know it did hurt but I'll tell you it's not as bad as most people would think and I'd be ready to go out there and fish right now it's not you know hurting that much it's a little bit sore but that's it so that's basically it hopefully this will help you next time you're out there and you have a little incident um, and you end up hooking yourself it honestly wasn't as bad as I thought it does ache a little bit but um there we go. If I was out there on the water and I did this, I'd be able to just smack a band-aid on there now and go back and fish. 
need, uh, you know, the band-aids just to make sure that bacteria doesn't get inside of it because honestly, it didn't bleed that much. Only about a drip came through. So that's it. Thanks for joining me on today's episode of Kids Fishing TV. I'll see you folks next time. And uh, be safe out there in the water. God bless. Tight lines. And uh, may the fish be with you.